Dr. Ferguson, what is arthritis? Arthritis is a itis of the arthur. It's okay. a itis, anytime something has itis on it, it means mm -hmm. inflammation. Mm -hmm. And then the thing put before it describes where that inflammation is. So it's an inflammation of the joints. And um, similar to sinusitis is mm -hmm. an itis of the sinus, the sinuses, mm -hmm. the inflammation of the sinuses. So there are several different types of arthritis or inflammation of the joints, and they all have slightly different mechanisms behind them. Uh, osteoarthritis is probably the most common, and that is a, a gradual breakdown of the cushioning and the tissue um, in the joints so that there uh, is more bone on bone. Mm -hmm. And it used to be thought that that was just a sort of wear and tear type of thing. Right. And uh, certainly it does come on later in life, and um, the joints you use more is where it's um, But it's not just wear common. and tear? But it's not as simple as wear and tear. It's actually now known that it is an inflammatory process. Okay. And so it's not just a matter of, oh, everybody gets osteoarthritis mm -hmm. eventually. It really depends on how inflammatory is your diet, how inflammatory is your lifestyle, and can be affected by anti-inflammatory um, both medications and herbs and nutrients. Mm -hmm. um, another uh, common form of uh, arthritis is rheumatoid arthritis. Mm -hmm. And that is more of an autoimmune condition. Uh, antigens, or things that activate the immune system, uh, come into the body and the immune system creates antibodies to those. They glom onto the antigens, creating mm -hmm. an immune complex that then travels around and gets lodged in your joints. And in okay. the case of uh, rheumatoid arthritis, there are immune complexes lodged in the joints, causing joint destruction. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the uh, treatment there is, is not just anti-inflammatory and protecting the joints, but also addressing the autoimmune nature. Where did that, why do they have mm -hmm. an autoimmune condition going on? Um, there's uh, another uh, condition would be psoriatic arthritis, which has to do with psoriasis, you know, the... Oh. Um, silvery sheen type uh, skin rashes, mm -hmm. it all, that same condition also can cause arthritis. Um, so there's kind of kind of three categories that I think of as the, you know, the joint degeneration category, which osteoarthritis mm -hmm. would fit under, the autoimmune category, mm -hmm. which would be like rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, and then the other, the final category would be septic arthritis, which would septic be um, infections in the joints. Ah, so okay. um, say you, uh, you know, rusty nail mm -hmm. uh, got into your joint somehow and you got an infection in there, uh, you know, it'd be inflamed, it'd be red. And those are, those are usually pretty emergent. They can be dangerous mm -hmm. if that infection spreads. So that's kind of a different category. Those can come on really quick and then it can be treated mm -hmm. really quickly and, and cured really quickly, whereas these other two categories are more long-term, and uh, that's more what I deal with, are more the chronic uh, forms of arthritis. Well, thank you for that explanation. Thank you.